What's up, everybody? Hello, YouTube. This is Joe T coming back with another video. I uh, just wanted to give an uh, update on my tank. Did a lot of changes. I uh, just wanted to catch, it, catch the fish in this action. Uh, you know, I don't really see many videos of this, but as you can see, my fish are lip locking right now. My German Red and my Hybrid that grew up from a fry. Uh, you know, I don't know if they're fighting over a female that might just look, uh, appeared uh, somewhere uh, because, uh, you know, I bought electric blue peacock and when I bought it it was colored up it colored down but then after I did this water change and rescaped the whole tank to give them more space in the tank for the fish <clears throat> uh, I saw my hybrid peacock doing the mating dance with this fish down there down there in the gravel right there But yeah, uh, just did a water change. Took the old, did did a quite a bit of changes since my last video. Um, my Frontozo was trying to kill my blue my blue OB. The last time I had him in this tank, I took him out for two weeks and kept him in my uh, quarantine tank. Put him on timeout. See if that adjusted his attitude. But then, after I did this water change, I took my Red Empress out because my Red Empress was constantly harassing the whole tank. You know, it was one of my favorite fish. I didn't want to do it to him, but, you know, he's he's uh, harassing the fish too much. So, uh, you know, I put him on timeout, see if that adjusts his attitude. Hopefully it works. Uh, give an update on that, uh, on the progress. We'll see what happens when I put him back in after a few weeks. But, uh, yeah, tank's looking good. It's a little bit cloudy right now just because of, uh, uh, I did a filter maintenance on my FX6, changed out the carbon, cleaned it all out, put some new pink filter floss in there, uh, cause it was getting worn out. So I had to replace that. But then I, what I have in my canister filter is the, uh, the, uh, Biomax from Matrix, or the Matrix Biomax. From Seachem, uh, stuff works real good. But as you see, everybody's doing well. A little aggression in the tank right now, just because the main tank boss is not there anymore. So everybody's trying to pick the role and place each other in their spot. So there's a lot of action going on in here right now. <laughs> just hopefully no one uh, kills each other. But as you can see, the fish are exploring the tank. You know, new changes makes them explore. So, uh, see what, how it goes with this. Because before I put a lot of decorations in there, but then, you know, I just, I, I'm trying to fight this aggression battle. Uh, you know, as far as I know, you know, there was no females until I saw, you know, this one fish do the dance. But then, uh, you know, uh, and I thought, you know, maybe they were fighting because I gave them too many little territories to hide behind. So I took everything out. Took a lot of the plants out. Took a lot of the deco wood out. I took a lot of decorations out. You know, I was just trying to see if certain fish need hiding spots with smaller guys so they could get away from the bigger fish. But now I'm trying this. You know, two rocks, two fake plants. That's an open space in the 75 gallon. So, uh, you know, hopefully they, uh, they like it.
It was my Taiwan Reef, looking nice as always, even though he was getting harassed a lot by my Red Empress, but my Red Empress never really bit his fins or anything like that. He just harassed them a lot, which was a good thing because my Taiwan Reef is one of my favorite fish that I have. Yeah, as you can see there, oh, trying to keep up with them, swimming faster than I can move. Oh. It was pretty cool watching them for a second because of uh, my red zebra and Buna was getting in the middle of the fight of the German red and my hybrid peacock that I have, my... Uh, Electric Blue and Pachi, I believe, uh, Peacock it was. thought it was a Red Top Luanda, but I think it might have been an Apache. Not sure. But uh, as you see, he's got a little piece of skin hanging from his lip because they're lip locking real good. There was my Bumblebee. You know, it's my uh, second go around having Mbuna in my peacock tank um, you know so far they've been pretty good you know they've been actually docile my except for you know maybe my red zebra a little bit you know I see him chasing the bigger fish around a little bit already so I've been keeping a close eye on him but he hasn't really been hurting anybody so which is a good thing and there goes my Venustus it was colored down pretty bad because my red empress was, you know, chasing everybody around. So he was what, uh, gray and black. He didn't have that much yellow showing on him, but he's cut up a little bit since the water changed, which is nice. Oh, I think my German red might have won, won the battle over the female, if that's a female. I'm not sure. Contango Redfin Broly Eye. My Yellow Lab. My other OB Peacocks. And the Twins I have. My Demason Eye. My Blue Zebra. And my Frankenstein fish, I call my Frontosa. And my Livingstone eye, he's doing good. He's been healthy ever since I got him from Petco. Well, everyone, thanks for tuning in. And just wanted to give a shout out to all my subscribers and people that watch my videos. Thanks for watching and uh, give me the motivation to keep the videos going. Uh, you know, I do this for fun and just because I enjoy watching other people's videos. You know, I have a few of my favorites that I watch on YouTube. Adam C., Deb Tim, Canadian Girl, Jay Wilson. All, all you guys out there, you know, I watch your videos. Oh, and then I can't forget Joey, King of DIY. That's one of my other favorites. But, uh, yeah. Watch you guys. And, uh, you know, it inspires me to try to do the best thing I can do for my fish. Anyways, hope everybody's doing well and have a good night. Talk to you soon.